Hello everyone, welcome to QA Automated channel. In this video, we are going to learn about setup and tear down thread group. These are very important thread groups. Uh, in multiple times, we came up across situation uh, where in JUnit and uh, TestNG, we use uh, setup and tear down methods. Uh, this is because we want to do certain activities once and but we want to uh, do certain activities multiple times. In JVTor test, there are multiple scenarios in which we want to test certain API flow in the, under certain load. But for certain APIs, uh, for example, it can be a sign-in call. We, want, we don't want to do sign-in multiple times, but we want to uh, test other APIs like accessing the home page, accessing the dashboard page and certain activities multiple times. So for this different different configurations to take place, we can use this particular thread group and have the configuration of our design. So let us check out with this example what we are trying to do here. In the setup thread group, we will add the samplers or the code which we want to execute before the main thread group, the normal thread group. And in the tear down thread group, we will add the code which we want to execute only when the main thread group execution is over. We don't want to run this in a consecutive manner. We want main thread group execution to be completed as per the configurations provided here in terms of number of threads, ramp up and the count. And we want setup and tear down thread group to run as per the configurations provided here. Okay, in this example, what we are doing, we have added the setup thread group. We added only once only controller to do this login activity only once. Then we are creating some users and we are adding these users with this user sampler to a particular file. In the main thread group, we are accessing the same file path which we mentioned here. And we are accessing the same file path and extracting the login id, login name and password. And we are calling this dummy sampler. Then in the next uh, third down thread group, we want we are using again the same file and we are login as admin uh, again only once and then we are deleting this user whichever we added so far. So for this to run, let's configure so I want to run it four times. I want to run my tier times and main thread group I want to run it 10 times okay let's run this and check see your login activity has taken place once and then uh, we have uh, created some users so four users are created and then again uh, 10 times we can see this uh, standard login the example call is made then second user, so then again the login take, uh, took place, okay. So again we have your login activity, okay. And then we deleted these four users. So if you see here, the iteration found is four, but we wanted to log in only once. So exactly the desired flow is executed here with this special thread groups. Uh, so this is it about the setup and tear down thread group. To add this thread group, you need to go here and add from the thread group section here. And you can see the result also in the aggregate report like how we wanted the same way it happened. So login happened twice, once from the setup thread group and once from the tear down thread group. Uh, the create users happened four times and delete user also happened four times and the thread count here is 10 so the standard login dummy sampler the standard user login which we wanted to do happened uh, 10 times so this is how the flow of execution for this is uh, i will be uploading soon all these things in a github repo and will be sharing that in my blog as well so keep track uh, keep track of that 
and for uh, if you have any questions related to this uh, special thread groups or any other questions if you have related to JMeter, do pin me in the comment section or you can reach out to me via my blog also. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.